Little tasks and little tidbits of information are hidden all over Willowhaven Farm. I'm Tessa, the farmer's wife, and I'm out here in the North Field. I'm gonna show you a few things here on this beautiful Friday afternoon in October. This field was planted with vegetables this summer, and right now we have a cover crop growing on it. This is buckwheat, which is a, um, a pseudo grain, and this is a daikon radish. I thought it was a radish and I just wanted to double check for sure, so I pulled one up and took a bite, and sure enough, it is. And these are gonna get really long, and they're used, daikon radish are used to break up the soil here, and um, the buckwheat we're gonna mow in the spring, and that green will compost into the soil and feed it. And we might even pull up some of these daikon radish when they're mature in the winter. And um, these are great for stir fries and for kimchi and things like that in the winter or the spring. So those are really great, huge, long, white, flavorful radishes. And here behind me, we have a potato digger being loaded onto the back of our farm truck. The farm truck I mentioned to you last week, and it was um, in the shop, so it's back working on the farm this week. That potato digger was in a previous video. Um, it's about 100 years old, and we've used it for a number of years, and um, as the parts have just gotten worn, it's worked less and less well for us. Um, and this year it just didn't function for us at all. So our potato field, which is right here, is still waiting to be harvested. Um, we may or may not get anything out, as I've mentioned to you before, but we're willing to take that loss and we're sending the potato digger to another farmer of ours who can um, remanufacture some parts and fix it up for us, we hope. Um, we may also be able to borrow his potato digger, which I think is a little bit newer. They had to take it off in two parts um, to load it on, and it looks like it's a pretty good fit. These two guys I just saw in, uh, I followed them over here, Simeon, my son in the red, and Andres, our farm full-time hired hand here on the farm. Um, they're having a great time working together. In fact, I saw when I pulled up a little bit ago, they were wrestling in the hay field next to the potato, sweet potatoes, which they had just finished digging up, and that was fun. They said they had a fight uh, coming up and they they really enjoyed that. They are just doing it as, as, as friends, you know, toughening each other up. And it's great that these guys can work on the farm and do things that are productive and helpful to Farmer Reuben, and they can uh, strengthen themselves while they work and have great camaraderie, so. And also, of course, they do enjoy the heavy equipment and the fun that they get to have by um, by driving this stuff around and doing building up the farm so we're grateful for them and for the work that they're doing they're wrapping up their week here um, last week I shared with you in the last email every um, just kind of a taste of what we do week, week by week um, every day and they're definitely key parts of that out here in the field and we want you to be connected to your farmer and to see what's going on here at Willowhaven Farm and to um, consider getting connected with us in even more tangible ways by eating the food that comes from our farm so check out winter willowhavenfarmpa.com and find out more about our market boxes We'd love to connect you with your local farmers and have food coming to you every week of the year during um, no matter what's happening in your life or what's happening in the local area. 
you've got farmers that are producing food and that you can depend on. So um, check us out and we'll see you again very soon. Bye.